Hello and welcome back to Jim Snedeker Music. This week we're taking a look at another video uh, about MuseScore. MuseScore is an open source tool for music transcription. This particular video will be the fifth in a series of tutorial videos I've made on how to use MuseScore. And the links to those videos will appear in the description of this week's video. So MuseScore 4 has many exciting upgrades. And this week, I want to explain to you and show you on the screen how to keep measures together in a score. So the first thing we've done is opened our score. And since I want to know how to do this, I thought, well, I'll go ahead and make a video where you can watch me and learn together. So I go up here to help and I click on the online handbook. The online handbook opens and I go over here, I find, go to search in handbook. So that's where I am now. And I want to know how to do this. I'm going to find out in the handbook and we're going to type in keep measures together. And we do our search. We look for roll down the page it's not exactly what we want let's keep looking look looking 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 okay systems and horizontal spacing see where it says keep measures together so I think we're getting closer then we look for under here under tasks we want to place more measures in a system Hi, thanks for hanging out with me today. I've got a free gift for you. So make sure you either click the link in the description or click that little banner in the top of the screen. Okay. So we click on that. And then we see the idea of system break. Click on that. And now we learn about a palette called Layout. And there's an icon right here that will allow us to keep our measures together. So we go back to our score. And you'll notice on the score, this may look familiar to you. I, I've been working on it for a number of weeks. I finally finished it. Um, almost. I still have some, some of the chords to uh, lay out here, which by the way I can do on a Mac by pressing Command K. We can go ahead and do that right here. That's an F chord. So I'll press Command K. I don't want it there. I want it up here on the top of that rest. So now let me do Command K. And that's an F chord. And here is a G chord, Command-K, and I'll type in a G. So that shows you how we do, how we key in the chords. But back to our task at hand. We go over here to Layout, and we notice this icon that I mentioned earlier. And underneath the arrow, it says Keep Measures on the Same System. So the next thing I need to do is mark those measures. In order to do that, I press my shift key down. I come down here and I mark the first one. And I mark the last one. And it. And you notice all those measures now have been highlighted by under inside that blue border. So now to keep my measures all in one system. I'm going to click on that little icon and sure enough it removed that third page. It brought my last measure 
into the last system. This system is this row of measures at the bottom of the page. So this looks much better. I've got two pages. It's much more manageable. Um, I want to make sure before I forget to go ahead up here and do a save. And that's it for how to keep measures in the same system. If this was helpful, make sure you check out my earlier videos from the links in the description of this video.